by doing. That is Pencil's approach when it comes to cultivating the next generation of footwear designers. Pencil is an innovative footwear design academy created to give students the tools that they need to become the top professionals in this very competitive business. We had the pleasure of speaking with Pencil's founder about what inspires him. And I warn you, you are about to fall in love with Pencil. Okay. <laughs> Name is Dwayne Edwards, uh, founder of Pencil Footwear Design Academy. And what is Pencil? What is it? Um, it's my best design so far, um, where ultimately it's a school that I wish I was able to attend when I was growing up, um, and it wasn't available. Talk to me a little bit about you being a kid growing up, and what inspired you, and I guess what, what motivated you? So I grew up in Inglewood, California, and I played ball like every other inner city hood kid, but I knew I wasn't gonna make it to the league, and my refuge was to draw. I just didn't know it. I didn't know that that's what was gonna get me out of the city. For me, it just became the thing I did all day, every day, and I wanted to keep doing that. I wanted to keep being in that creative space. Um, and it, what it ended up turning into is a profession I had no idea existed. Absolutely. No idea that it existed. And it's been my motivating factor up to this point of seeing, because I know there's other kids that were like me. Um, in addition to that, it, I would say it's my brothers and my mother. Um, I had two brothers. Both of them passed away. Both of them were better designers or artists than me. They taught me a lot of what I know to this day. Um, and I ultimately have the career they never had a chance to, to get. How long ago did you create the Academy? Uh, Pencil started in the summer of 2010. Um, I, I took eight weeks off um, from my day job and tested it. I had this idea and see if it would work. Um, and we did a we did two week session um, where it was about 14 hours every day straight. And uh, we flew in 40 kids from five different countries and 20 different states. Um, to have this crazy eclectic place of just kids having the same common interest of wanting to be a footwear designer. And once we did it, two weeks is over and, and the kids loved it. And uh, education, um, some of the top design schools across the country started to find out about it and they wanted it at their school. And um, uh, just kind of, that kind of propelled me to the idea like, hey, you know, maybe, maybe there is something here. Um, and so in the summer of, well, spring, April 1st, 2011, I retired from Jordan Brand and um, decided to open a school full time. Okay, so the school's open full, full time. Yeah. Where is it located? It's downtown Portland. So it's an old town. It's in Portland, Oregon. So do the kids have to come to Portland yes. or they do? So I have, uh, have partnerships with um, Parsons in New York City. Um, so we do, we do a program there in New York um, and I also work at MIT in Massachusetts. So we do a program at MIT. Um, and then another school partner is Art Center in Pasadena, California. Um, and uh, those are the three top design schools, both fashion design, product design, and then engineering. Um, but then everything else is in Portland, Oregon. And so do you have other shoe designers that, that are established and well-known working with the kids as well oh, as yeah. mentors? Oh, yeah. And does that kind of spread kind of that around? Yeah. Other than just you, obviously you can't mentor hundred, everybody. you know, everybody, yeah. So how does that work? How do you enlist, I guess, other designers? And then also talking about um, female designers of color yeah. as well, you know, how do you, how do, you do that? Um, well, you know, what's beautiful, I think the beautiful part of what I'm trying to do is the first, I would say the first phase of the people that I mentored when I was in Jordan at Nike that got jobs at the company, they also mentor the students. Um, so that was kind of the first phase where I had 20 or 30 designers that I worked with to, to help get jobs. They, when I first launched the school, they came down and gave their time and, and mentored some of the students. What that has turned into is now the students are getting jobs. So when the students get jobs, now they come back to the school and basically sitting in the same seat that someone else is sitting in now, but six months prior, I mean, you know, six months later, now they're working at, you know, it's one of the top brands you see here in the booth, where now it's becoming this, 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 uh, this multiplication of mentorship uh, because we're getting students placed in jobs. And 
they remember what it was like to be in that same seat. They remember what it was like to to want to meet someone from a you know established company. So they come back now. We have we have oh, close to 90 students working in some of the top footwear companies in the last three years. And on top of them, I have another, like I said, 30 to 35 designers that I work with across the industry. Um, so I like to say we, we probably have the most experience of any academy in the world in a very specific topic. Over 200 plus years of experience at any given time we can, pull, we can dip into. What is your big dream? I mean, this is huge. This is huge and it's, it's spreading and it's getting bigger. What is your dream at the end of the day? What do you want to accomplish with this academy? Uh, I mean, simply, I, I want to leave the industry better than when I entered it. And whether that's providing more opportunities for people of color, um, because we're non-existent in this industry. When, when I started in 89, I was the third person of color and, and um, unfortunately still less than 180 of us in the whole industry. Um, and in the last, I would say the 75% of the last few kids that have been in have been pencil students, people of color. And that was one of my biggest goals. But, um, but ultimately, I just want to leave it better. I mean, the industry done a lot for me, and I think kids need to see that there's opportunities other than what they see on television. Um, you know, they don't have to feel like they have to run, jump, dunk, and sing to become or act to become, you know, successful in life, whatever, whatever they deem as success. Not to say there's anything wrong with those professions, but um, I think just having kids know there's other options for them, um, for me, I think that's all I want to do.